Always Be Mickey was bred by Joe Hurley's Roll the Dice Stable, who also bred and co-owned his sire, the $1.1 million winning major fast class stakes performer Always a Virgin, who stands stud in Indiana. Always Be Mickey was developed and raced by trainer Joe Holloway. He showed hints of his incredible abilities early on, pacing a final quarter in 25-4 and four at a baby race as a freshman before heading to Indiana for sire stakes action. At age three, Mickey opened some eyes with an astounding second place finish to He's Watching's 146-4 world record equaling Meadowlands pace. Mickey and driver Dave Miller were parked three wide every step of the mile, yet still came on relentlessly to garner the runner-up spot. The pace was the race that seemed to break Mickey loose. He went on to dominate Indiana Sire Stakes, won Grand Circuit Stakes both weeks at Lexington, including a 147-4 win in the Bluegrass, and won his Breeders' Crown Elimination at the Meadowlands in 150 flat. Always Be Mickey was scratched lame out of the post parade in the Breeders' Crown Final, having suffered a broken hind pastern, the first of two such injuries for the star pacer, resulting in multiple surgeries and several screws being placed between his back hooves and ankles. Mickey returned 10 months later in the fall of 2015 for new trainer Jimmy Tactor and showed his brilliance, dominating the Breeders' Crown open pace by nearly six lengths in 149-3 despite a sloppy track and driving rain at Mohawk in just his third start of the season. But they're all racing for chump change here, as always be Mickey will take it home, and it's a wicked night at the office for Messrs. Miller and Tactor. What a night it was! 2016 was the season for the ages for Always Be Mickey, starting with the first matchup between he and Horse of the Year Wiggle It Jiggle It, a heavily hyped and much anticipated showdown in the Ben Franklin at Pocono. Mickey had won his elimination in 147 and came right back with an identical 147 score in the final over four-year-old rivals Freaky Feet Pete and Wiggle It Jiggle It. Always Be Mickey and David Miller! Mickey defeated Shambhala and Wiggle It Jiggle It again on Meadowlands Pace Night, moving to the lead after half a mile in the mile and an eighth test in the 471,000 William Houghton Memorial. Always be Mickey to win the Houghton! One of Mickey's best races of the year was the Jim Ewart Memorial at Scioto Downs in Ohio on September 16th. Mickey ranged up alongside arch rival Wiggle It Jiggle It and the two champions slugged it out toe to toe in an epic battle for over half a mile with the parked out Mickey prevailing in deep stretch again in 147. What a race! Always be Mickey on the outside! Always be Mickey! The historic Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky is regarded as the fastest track in harness racing with numerous world records set over the Red Clay Oval. Conditions were not totally ideal with temperatures in the mid-60s as Mickey faced four rivals in the all Arage Pace Final on October 9th. He had won three times on 5 8 mile tracks in 147, just to tick off the 146-4 all-age race record set by four horses on mile tracks. Driver Dave Miller moved Mickey to the front on the backstretch, setting the stage for an incredible moment in harness history. Half mile split, split the house as Gap slightly in third, another two and a half to all bets off as they race through the half mile marker, 52 and two, so he's there in time. And at the back is Delta Winner, who's fifth and trailing the field, so it's always be Mickey, a length in front onto the far turn. Shambhala is right with him, racing in second with little more than three eights to go. Split the house third, all bets off is glued to the pylons fourth, and Delta Winner is showing the whip in fifth, and he's edged to the outside as they come to the three quarter marker. Always be Mickey leads the way. Shambhala Shambhala well within striking range is right with him in second. Three quarters and one nineteen and four. So they come to the top of the stretch. It's always be Mickey in front and he eases away to a two length lead. Shambhala is tipped to the outside in second. All bets off racing in third. Always be Mickey is full out. Shambhala trying to track him down on the outside. All bets off on the far outside. Always be Mickey pacing home strongly. Shambhala second. Always be Mickey is heading down to the line. Always be Mickey in one. 46! Always be Mickey and arch rival Wiggle It Jiggle It met again in the Breeders' Crown Final, each with three wins against the other in what was billed as the seventh game war to settle the score with potential Horse of the Year honors on the line. The two faced off in a test of wills with neither giving an inch in one of the greatest Breeders' Crowns and racing moments in recent harness history. And it's a sprint to the wire in the Breeders' Crown open pace. Wiggle It Jiggle It 
squaring off with always be Mickey on the outside. Shambhala needs to do more. Split the house on the inside. Wiggle it, jiggle it. Always be Mickey on the outside. One final surge and wiggle it, jiggle it. Always be Mickey won't give up. Always be Mickey! He's a Breeders' Crown repeater. Always Be Mickey capped off his sensational career in the TVG final, drawing away in deep stretch by over four lengths. Always Be Mickey drawing clear. Mickey is motoring home to a magnificent finale. He wins it by four. Always Be Mickey retires as the fastest horse in harness history at 146. His career earnings stand at $2,715,368, posting 30 wins, 13 seconds, and 3 thirds, and 53 career starts. Over the past two years, while in the Tactor stable, Mickey won 16 of 22 starts, prompting Hall of Fame trainer Jimmy Tactor to say Mickey was the best horse he's ever trained. Always Be Mickey is off to stallion duty at Adam Bowden's Diamond Creek Farm, having rewritten the pages of harness history with his blazing speed, incredible endurance, and a tremendous will to win. The Meadowlands and all of harness racing salute Always Be Mickey, a true champion and legend of the sport.